Jobs and Breast Health. So tell us a little bit about your perspective on bras. Well, first of all, free the tatas. However, <laughs> <laughs> breasts are much healthier when they are set free. In general, most bras are very constrictive to breast tissue. So that can affect the lymphatic flow, it can affect hormone activity in the breasts, and can restrict the circulation to the breast tissue. All, all of those factors can inhibit breast health. Wow. So now even Western medicine is cautioning women about wearing bras at all. Mm -hmm. There was an article that came out recently that said bras have been linked to breast cancer. Yeah. Just bras. Well, you know, Not I, necessarily the underwire even, but the bras. Well, the underwires are particularly problematic. Correct. But I remember reading about a study years ago. It was maybe 15 years ago that was done with a group of women in Fiji. The control group was the women who wore traditional Western dress. And then there were the women who wore the Fijian dress, which did not include any restriction of the breast or bras. And the, the um, breast cancer incidence was much lower among the women who dressed traditionally. That is correct. So when we're talking about, you're talking about lymphatic congestion, we're talking about that band that goes all around the bottom of our breasts. And lymph is meant to flow like so. Correct. So what happens is the, the, lymph, the lymph gets caught in the band and then it starts to pool? Correct. It gets okay. stagnant. And then the stagnation becomes masses and inflammation and cysts and, and tumors and so on. Okay. Correct. Goodness, I remember my mother you know, coming home from... My mother was a very large-breasted woman. And I remember her coming home from work and she used to just unsnap yeah. her bra and be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take this thing off. <laughs> but there's an interesting issue here, which is that, um, I mean, this gets into like the cultural aesthetic of the breast. Like it, it doesn't look very good if your breasts aren't like kind of sitting up and pushing out. Perky. And perky. <laughs> like what if they're a little saggy? What if they swing from side to side while you're walking? I mean, or what if they point different ways or they go like this? Or you, or have, or you have headlights? Yeah, headlights, I mean, all of that. When you recommend to women that they go without bras, what kinds of reactions do they have? Well, um, a lot of them are aghast mm -hmm. <laughs> and say, oh my goodness, I could never do that. I have a very professional job, et cetera, et cetera. Well, there are devices that you can use to cover up any kind of showing nipples. Um, and we just encourage our patients, don't wear a bra when you don't have to. If you're home all day and you're not entertaining and you're not going to shock anyone, um, just don't put the bra on at all. Okay. Also, take it off if you've had it on eight hours. Don't wear a bra eight more hours. than eight hours a day. Okay. Don't wear underwires. We talked about underwires a minute ago. Underwires. Now, what is underwires? It underwires just compound that issue of binding because in the, the wire is the going wire starts all at the at the here. at the center of the bra and mm -hmm. goes underneath both breasts and then goes all the way up the sides of the bra. Okay. So it's effectively trapping any lymph that tries to get into the breast tissue from okay. the armpit area. Right. Can't get in there. So in other words, you're going to do another stagnation. It's going to cause uh, another stagnation effect. And it, you know that's interesting because um, when I go to the like the underwear department, the lingerie department, it's very hard to find bras that don't have wires. Yes, in it them. is. Now almost every bra company out there now makes a bra that does not have a wire oh, in it. Is that However, right? you usually have to ask the sales clerk, oh, okay. "Where is it?" Because it's in a drawer in the back somewhere. <laughs> They don't. They don't look nice hanging up on the hanger oh, because they don't. They don't, nice they don't look yet. like perky boobs. Oh, they don't look like perky boobs. <laughs> so, um, so at the very least, like if somebody absolutely isn't ready to let go of wearing a bra right now, they can let go at the very least of like hopefully the underwire. That's a good yes. place to start. And you don't have to buy a whole bunch of new bras. Take the bras you have. Make a little incision in the side of it, and then take a needle nose plier and pull the wire right out. Oh. You don't have to replace all your bras unless, of course, you want to. So this conversation about bras is really interesting because I have to admit it brings up this fear for me about, like, what happens if I go without a bra? But, but you were just saying that there's a, there was a study that was done... In, in France, this was actually Dans la France. This we're, we're is actually pretty pretty recent, actually. Well, and France was where the brassiere was invented, mm. the land of the brassiere, France. So what happened there? Well, they did a study on uh, quite a few women that had never ever worn a bra from the time they developed breasts, never to ever now, worn a bra and they were all they were all in midlife. 
Uh, and they did another group of women who had worn a bra from day one that were around the same ages. So wow. kind of a spread of ages, but okay. over a long period of time. And they discovered that all of the women that had never, ever worn a bra had perkier breasts than all the women who had worn them from day one. So this is, <laughs> all right, so this is great because even though I know this consciously, I still have some fear about just taking off my bra for good. So let's do a little bit of tapping on this. And I've asked Renee to tap along with me. I'm going to do some self-tapping, and you can tap along too. So, Renee, I don't think you have a fear of going without a bra. You don't – do you never wear them, or do you – No, I probably wear a bra about 20% of the time. Okay, so you wear a bra much less. And right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do some tapping for myself about this, and um, let's just see where we go. So, okay, so my I, – I can't go without a bra, so that's my belief. I can't go in public without a bra. And I can't go in public without a bra because – um, my breasts will look saggy because I will be too casually dressed. It's something like that. Like I'll just look too casual. I'll look too much like a hippie. Um, and I would say we that, are in Northern California. I know. know, but even though, and especially because we're in Northern California, I would say it's fear is my emotion. And it's about, it's like a six or a seven right now. Okay. So let's do some tapping on this. Okay. Even though I have this fear. Even though I have this fear. I don't want to go in public without a bra. I don't want to go in public without a bra. I just can't imagine it. I just can't imagine oh, it. Oh, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. It makes me really anxious to think about it. It makes me really anxious to think about it. And I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. And I'm going to love and accept myself anyway. This fear of going without a bra. This fear of going without a bra. Oh, going without a bra. Going without a bra. If I go without a bra. If I go without the bra. The whole world will see my breasts. The whole world will see my breasts. Everybody. This fear that I feel. This fear that I feel. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what that's about. What's behind my fear? What's behind my fear? Somebody told me. Somebody told me. That a woman's breasts, that a woman's breasts are sinful to gaze upon. Are sinful to gaze upon. A woman's it. breasts are sinful to gaze and upon. A woman's breasts are sinful to gaze upon. So if I go without a bra, so if I go without a bra, I'm showing my breasts as they are. I'm showing my breasts as they are. And that's sinful. And that's sinful. There's something disgraceful about There's it. There's something disgraceful about it. This fear that I feel. This fear that I feel. Okay, so what I'm getting is underneath it is shame. Underneath it is shame. Okay, so there's really some shame about my breasts. There's some shame about my breasts. They're not big enough. They're not big enough. They're too small. They're too small. But if they were too big, then they'd be too big. <laughs> if they were too big, they'd be too big. I probably will never be happy with my breasts. I will probably never be happy with my breasts. I don't want to blame my breasts anymore. I don't want to blame my breasts anymore. They're innocent. They're innocent. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. I'm willing to let go of this sadness. I'm willing to let go of this sadness. And this shame. And this shame. And this fear. And this fear. And be okay. And be okay. Without needing to have a bra on. Without needing to have a bra on. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm willing to give it a try. And I love and accept myself. And I love and accept myself. I love my willingness. I love my willingness. Okay. <sighs> wow. Oh my. That was a lot. That was a lot of layers in a very short round of tapping. That's, um, yeah, the fear and the embarrassment and then the shame and then the messages, the cultural messages. Wow. All right, let's see. What would I say? I was at a six or a seven. Yeah, I'm like at a three or a four. So let's just do one more round and see if we can kind of knock this out. All right, even though I still have a little bit of fear. Even though I have a little fear. And a little shame. And a little shame. About being in public without a bra. About being in public without a bra. What if I, I'm willing to love myself? I'm willing to love myself. I love and accept where I'm at. I love and accept where I'm Some at. Some people like not wearing bras. Some people like not wearing bras. Some people get turned on by not wearing bras. <laughs> Some people get turned on by not wearing bras. Some people get turned on by seeing a woman without a bra. Some people get turned on by seeing a woman without a bra. That feels kind of fun. That feels fun. I'm totally willing to try it. I'm totally willing to try it. What the heck? What the heck? It's better for my breasts anyway. It's better for my breasts anyway. I love my breasts. I love my breasts. I'd like to keep them. I'd like to keep them. And I'd like them to be healthy. And I'd like them to be healthy. And so if wearing a bra makes them unhealthy. Wearing a bra makes them unhealthy. I'm willing to let it go. I'm willing to let it go. And have fun letting it go. And have fun letting it go. And love and accept myself where and I'm at. And love and accept myself where I'm at. Yay! <laughs> well, that feels better. <laughs> that feels better. So, free the tatas! <laughs> 
All right. Watch out. I'm going to start peeling my claws off in any minute. We better stop the video because I could just start right now. <laughs>